Hello everybody, it's nice to see you again. Uh, with me, our conscious glory and the Atmoko. At this time, I'll open side for presenting this material and discuss about uh, the assessment in English language teaching. Okay, this presentation uh, is under the guidance Mr. Dr. Lazim Musamil MPD. And then at the time, uh, I would like to share you what kind of the material, then you can take the conclusion after that. Okay, testing a listening comprehension in this, uh, like means what that uh, evaluation and assessment in language education. Okay, and then uh, what is listening? You know that the definition means the ability to identify and understand what the others are saying. And listeners are capable of simultaneously understanding a speaker's accent and pronunciation, grammar, vocabulary, meaning. Although hearing is a natural process, listening is not learning effective. Listening skill is crucial in order to get the most out of its message. Okay, testing receptive skills, okay? All assessment of listening and reading must be made on the basis of observing the test taker speaking or writing or non and verbal behavior, not on the listening or reading itself. So all assessment of receptive performance must be made in the reference, okay? Testing, reading, and skill. Both listening and reading are receptive skills, but listening can be more difficult than reading without. Different speakers produce the same sound in different ways. The alec and accent, stress, rhythm, intonation. Then the listener has little control of the speech of talk. Okay? The spoken material is often hears only once, unlike the reading materials. Testing listening skill. The listener cannot pause to work out of meaning. Speech is more likely to be distorted by background noise around the classroom or the media that transmits sound. The listener sometimes has to deal simultaneously with another text while listening, not talking. Okay. Source of difficulty for learners. Unfamiliar vocabulary, grammar, and then text too long. Several people talking. Unfamiliar context, loss of details, topic not interesting, theme not clear, and then accent, a speed, idiomatic speech. Okay, text too difficult not prepare for the format, and then a lack of background information. Okay, types of listening text, formal lecturer, council chat, and then face-to-face -face interaction, telephone message, radio and TV presentation, and native speaker speech in all kinds of station, loudspeaker announcement, telephone conversation, radio news, interview, lesson lecture, and storytelling, and then shopping, conversation, gossip, instruction, meeting, watching television, negotiation, watching movie, theater, show, and so on. Okay. How do we listen? This is this of Listener Brown 2004 on page 188 up to 119. You recognize big sound a whole temporary imprint of them in short term memory. You simultaneously determine the type of speech event, monologue, interpersonal dialogue, and transactional dialogue that is being processed and attend to its context. Who the speaker is location, purpose, and content of the message. Okay. And then the next, you use bottom-up uh, linguistic decoding skill and all top-down background stimulus and to bring a plausible interpretation, 
to the message, okay, and assign a literal and intended meaning to the entrance. In the most cases, except for repetition text which involves short term memory only, you delete the exact linguistic form in which the message was originally received in favor of conceptually retaining important or relevant information in long term memory. Each of these states uh, represents a potential assessment objective. By Brown, 2004, on page 188 up to 190. Okay. Then the potential assessment objective. The first, comprehending of surface structure elements. Then, such as pronouns, words, intonation, or a grammatical category, and understanding of grammatic context. Determining meaning of the auditory input and developing is a, a global of comprehensive understanding. And then the types of listening performance. There are kind of two. One is listening for reception, the components, or name, word, intonation, discourse maker of large strands of language. And then listening to the relative short strand of language, a greeting, question, comment, comprehension, I comprehend check here in order to make an equally short response. Okay, next, the processing stretch of this course, such as short monologues for several minutes in order to scan for certain information. The purpose of performance is not necessarily to look for global of general meanings, but to be able to comprehend the sign information in the context of longer stretch of spoken language such as classroom, direction from the teacher, and television, radio news item, or stories. Assessment text in this type of listening could as students. For example, to listen for names, number, a grammatical category, direction in a mind exercise, or certain fact that events. Listening to develop a top-down global understanding of spoken language. This kind of listening performance ranges from listening to length lectures, to listening to a conversation and deriving a comprehensive message or purpose. Listening for the case for the mind idea and making inferences are all part of extensive listening. Intensive of listening, here the clues of the types of listening. Okay, intensive means uh, here can be tested through the discrimination among smaller components, like spawning word discourse maker, among others. Testing intensive listening generally involves a spoken stimulus and the test taker is required to identify the stimulus from two or more choice. There are kind of some picture, and you can look on your screen, is kind of by the intensive listening example. Okay, and then, Responsive listening. Testing has a question and answer format. The test taker is required to find the appropriate response. The test has a multiple choice format uh, with answer that similarly have similar meanings or require a more open ended framework. The implies uh, were listening to a text with the purpose of scanning for certain details or information. Instead of listening involved the comprehension and reproduction in writing of a moderately large spoken passage. And then dictation generally of about uh, 50 up to 100 words. A variant of this test in answering a comprehension question after listening to the passage uh, several times. Okay, here in the extended listening. So this kind of the example, uh, we have uh, some text and then we can say or correctly and then giving some question to know the or to assess the students. Validity in listening assessment. Measure comprehension, not hearing, spelling, or prior knowledge of a topic or reading long multiple choice question based assessment on the learning objective and listening text of the unit or house okay reliability in listening assessment 
minimize and safety, and then ensure all the learners can hear or see the text video it will end that there are no distraction noises. Avoid ambiguous or the trick test item and share more than one scorer for correcting in open-ended test item. And then authenticity in listening assessment. Use the text which are authentic. Real life speech. Avoid using text that are dense uh, and cognitively demanding, mean to be read, and not listen to. Choose the comprehension test that uh, reflects real life purpose for listening and avoid typical accent and dialects. And then step in designing listening tests. So first, uh, we have to identify the purpose of the listening test, keeping in the mind learner goals. Okay, the listening test should reflect and what children are learning and what they need. Then decide on the format uh, for the test item and create the test form. Create or sugar listening basic uh, to be used in the test. Many commercial programs come with audio files for authentic materials. You could record a radio segment or take advantage of listening materials available on the internet. Be like YouTube, it's okay. And universities and professional language organizations often have recorded language sample on their website, like this West lecture. Okay, be sure that instructions are clear. Do not risk letting students misunderstanding of the test direction get in the way of assessing listening skill. Ensure optimal listening comprehension by framing the text to active background information that will aid in comprehension. For example, you could introduce a listening segment by saying, in the basic, uh, you will hear, two friends are having a conversation in a train station, give step-by-step -step instruction for more complex listening text. They can step in designing listening text. Then, Determine scoring criteria and scoring true or false or multiple choice item is uncomplicated, but asking the student to take notes on the basic or write a summary present challenge. Okay, true or false, so you can look at the picture. Here, uh, types of uh, listening comprehension text. Okay, and then uh, if we have for Multiple choice, go into the picture and set of the three or four picture at spoken statement. Which one is true like that? And when designing multiple choice items, use as much visual material as possible to avoid interference of other language skill. Keep the stem or the question short. And then use three instead of four options. Keep the language of the option simple. Activity types for testing listening comprehension. Information transfer, drawing a row uh, on a sketch or map, labeling diagrams and pictures, and completing a form table. Picture dictation. In a complete picture or a blank page, students listen to the description and now the picture. The listener listen and fill in the detail of the picture, and then the learner listen and level parts of the picture or diagram like that okay so uh, here's some picture in dictation and then type of listening test item based on oral clothes okay pictures ordering and what is it example i forgot if when i left home this morning this made me angry because it is useful i don't like it very much but i need it not every person has one, but I think most people do. Some people like to look at. Now many people play with it. Mine is quite heavy. Okay, extended uh, listening here. The student listen to an extended extra. Okay, a talk and interview not based on visual, but students are asked multiple choice and question based on an 
extended basis. Write an item for the extended listening. Focus on the most important point from the content and the general meaning and intention of the message. Avoid testing memorization of the unimportant and irrelevant point. Space out the item, took out the basics. Okay, keep the item well apart from each other. We should not punish to the student for not being able to answer a subsequent in item because it comes too soon after the previous one. Pay attention to the science posting. Signaling that a certain information is about to be here in the basics. After considering these two factors, my last point is it is only fair that the student should be warned and the keywords in the testing item and the basis about. And give a sufficient time to students to look through the items before they listen to the relevant excerpts. Familiarization with the items will compensate to some extent for the lack of extra linguistic feature, which have components in your live situation. Okay, this is on the writing items for extended listening. And then step in writing text. Okay, first mean we have to identify the main points, the text, units, meaning. Okay, decide what type of the strategy is normally used for decoding this type of text, which process are involved. If understanding the details is aimed, and make sure that your question covers the main point and are distributed relevant so that even the order over the text. And then, number four means uh, if a global understanding is aimed at, and find items which do not focus the details. Thank you very much, and here for our present in assessment listening or English language teaching. Okay. See you again on next presentation. Thank you.